trace back to uh, 1829 in the Fe Federal Quarantine Act by the United States government. In this act, they uh, what they wanted to do was find a way to destroy the African race. In order to do this, they needed something advanced, something very, uh, something very subliminal, where they could just put it inside a human immunity, immune system, and from there on, they can start, you know, uh, weakening uh, by bio biological warfare, weakening uh, the, the African race with their immunity. It wasn't until 1889 where the scientists was put their minds together and formulated a the use of microplasmas. Now, microplasmas are very deadly in the sense that what they do is they can mimic certain attributes within the DNA RNA structure. Microplasmas, what they can basically just do is just copy and just travel alongside and mimic whatever and program. Mind you, it's very uh it's very advanced in its time and with the use of microplasmas you can also mimic and copy certain vaccinations like polio vaccinations from henceforth I believe the year was 1977 where if I'm not mistaken looking at my research here is in the 70s a project called Paperclip Dr. Robert Gallo was the guy that authored this project and he made a book of it as well where uh, he basically <clears throat> he basically um, glorified AIDS he basically triumphed in, in AIDS in, in the sense where he was able to do whatever the government wanted him to do he was able to push it forward and uh, that's where in New York especially targeting black and homosexual men the government induced a false vaccination, like a flu vaccination, in the disguise of it, and a polio vaccination in the disguise of that, to give them uh, the HIV virus, which I believe at that time they were using HIV-1, if I'm not mistaken, until further in the 80s, the late 80s, they started using HIV-2. Now, you got to understand that H a HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It's just basically the virus that causes AIDS. Uh, for it to come from the African monkey was disproven by certain researchers from all over the world, nonprofit organization laboratories. And they disproved that theory, they debunked it because in the monkey, the African monkey, it's SIV1, semen, immuno, uh, semen immuno of deficiency virus. It's impossible for a monkey to give. Uh, human beings AIDS. So henceforth with that said, uh, the theory goes that Africans got AIDS by the monkey because the tribal African people ate green monkeys, captured and ate them, and then henceforth the whole population got AIDS. It's, it's bogus. Because if you go back to the 1950s, there was a false polio vaccination. It was false, where HIV-1 was present at the time. HIV-2 was developed, like I said, in 1977 by uh, by Dr. Robert Gallo, but he used HIV-1 first before he decided to use HIV-2. That's why that this, uh, this event in the 1970s was so significant because it's like the advancement of AIDS. Where in the 1950s all they had was HIV-1, they go back in Africa disguised as polio vaccination to help people with immunodeficiencies, to help them with anything that, that helps them build their immune system, but instead it was a cover-up to kill the African race, to kill all the people by giving them this false polio vaccination, which is in the skies of HIV-1. And then they also cover it up by, like what I just mentioned before, the fake uh, SIV-1, uh, yeah, by the monkey, is just ridiculous. I mean, it's been disproven, it's been de de debunked, it's garbage. The origin of AIDS was to kill the black man and to kill certain specific ra races so that the insiders, the Freemasons or the Illuminati, can continue, you know, moving, continue controlling whoever they desire to control in their system of uh, dominance, of world, you know, conquering uh, strategies. And what they do is they they use HIV to scare not only minorities, 
especially them, but also their own kind, you know, uh, Caucasians or what have you. Now, I for one believe that everyone is all human, from white to black, it doesn't matter. But this is what the insiders do, the Illuminati. They, they do this to use it as an axis of power and control and to continue to disrupt uh, human conscience, human psyche into fear. Because fear, you can do anything with fear once it's your ally and once you utilize it upon a group of people. People are afraid of it because they are very ignorant of it. Now, when most people hear this video, they're going to be like, you, you know, you're crazy or whack. You know, a guy in a mask saying that the origin of AIDS is from uh, the government or what have you. And you're saying that all this happened because of a federal quarantine act back in the 1800s, which developed by microplasmas. And then all of a sudden now, fake polio vaccinations uh, given to Africans and, and even fake polio vaccinations in the 70s given to homosexuals and black men. What are you, insane? No, I'm not insane. This is just research facts that I pulled out that are very true. These are researches that's been developed for over a hundred years to destroy a specific race and to keep certain other races in check because that's what the Illuminati wants. They have a cure for AIDS, but are they going to disclose it? Of course not. They're not going to disclose it. I mean, they're just keeping it within their own grasp. It's for their own benefit. You know, if uh, by chance any one of them gets sick, presto, there goes the cure, you know, for them. While everybody else is dying, losing family members, and uh, what have you. It's disgusting. It's horrible. Uh, this is the origin of AIDS. You know, it's not from an African green monkey. It's from technology. Microplasmas. Advanced technology. That's all it is. It's developed in laboratories by our own government through false federal quarantine acts, false polio vaccinations, and there you go. You, we know how AIDS works. I mean, first it's developed by HIV. What it does is it, it, it's like a budding effect. It uh, plays the host to your T cells, your immune, that, that's your immune defense right there, your T cells. And what it does is it controls your T cells and it tells your T cells whatever bacteria that enters, whatever flu, cold, uh, uh, flus, whatever, <clears throat> viruses that enter your body that are harmful that normally your T cells will destroy, it will tell them it's okay, they're friends. And little by little, you get sick and sick and sick, and that's how AIDS kills you, man. And it's, you know, it just takes a host. It's like a symbiote that takes a host of your T cells. And it rewrites your RNA and DNA. It's very uh, it's very advanced, and it's very evil and satanic. Well, hopefully, this is a, this video has informed you of the origin of AIDS, and have any comments, please hit me up with comments. If you disagree, agree, or whatever. But, uh... Hey, I'm just going to shoot out more videos for you. Peace.